Welcome to Colobus Conservation. Hidden away among the coastal forests of Diani in Kenya. We are a not-for-profit organisation created in 1997 in response to the number of deaths of monkeys on the Diani Beach Road. Now, we promote the conservation, preservation and protection of primates, especially the nationally threatened Angolan colobus monkey and their coastal habitat. The 2019 census to determine the population of primates living in the area revealed that there are five types of primates common to this habitat. Sykes monkey. Vervet monkeys. Baboons. And the colobus. There are also two types of bush baby found in this area, the lesser galago and the greater or thick-tailed galago. Monkeys across the world are rapidly losing their natural habitats and the Diani beach primates are no exception. As development and urbanisation grows, their habitat is lost through deforestation. Increased traffic on our roads leads to more accidents, resulting in injuries and deaths. On average, 55 monkeys are hit by vehicles on our 9km stretch of road each year. Increased electrification results in electrocutions, as primates use cables to cross areas as they forage for food and shelter. At Colobus, we have initiated projects and activities to help alleviate these problems. Building monkey bridges, we call them collar bridges, has reduced the number of traffic injuries and mortalities. Working closely with the Kenya Power and Lighting Company, we have been able to ensure cables are adequately insulated to protect our primates from electrocution. With our dedicated team working with the local residents, holding education days for approximately 1,000 school children each year and eco-tours for tourists, Colobus Conservation focuses on creating awareness of the problems our local primates and our environment face. And with the support of the local community, we have implemented reforestation programmes and planted indigenous high canopy trees so the primates can reacquaint themselves with their natural corridors. The wildlife pet trade is also an area in which we find ourselves involved. Kenyan law does not permit keeping wild animals, yet many monkeys fall victim to snares and traps and are illegally sold as pets. Once rescued, they are brought to us for rehabilitation. Our care of rescued and injured monkeys involves a period of quarantine, a medical examination and treatment as necessary by our vet and only then can the monkeys begin their rehabilitation. This entails relearning the behaviour of wild monkeys, learning which foods to eat, how to interact with other monkeys and also learning that humans are not friends. Large mesh cages through which they can see and touch the wild individuals that live on the Colobus Conservation Compound enable this part of their education. They can see how hierarchy levels operate, hear the various calls and come to understand their meanings. And if they make friends, they can give each other a groom. So they learn which food to eat. We give them a wide variety of wild leaves, flowers, fruits and seeds. Their rehabilitation can take varying amounts of time depending on the individual and their condition when they arrived. We do a group release approximately every two years. This group aspect both gives each individual a greater chance of survival from predators and the sociability they require. 
Some individuals are fitted with GPS collars, so we can track their location. You may wonder, why should we save primates? All primates play an important role in the biodiversity of the planet. They are ecological indicators. Their trophic impact is important and the role they play in seed dispersal is significant in the regeneration of their forest habitats. Support of the work we do is important. Therefore, if you are in the Diani area, come and visit us and take an eco-tour. Or visit our website, and if you can, make a donation. Even a small amount helps us to continue our work and make a difference. We hope to see you visit us sometime. Asante and Quahere.